Hello, friends, and welcome. This is Jason Waddell, and I am here to talk today about using multiple audio interfaces at the same time to uh, help you record. I've been I've been doing this for years. Usually, I only need one. I have a Focusrite uh, two i two, and then an AudioBox USB. USB and both of them have uh, two inputs on them. Well, sometimes I need to record more than two things at a time. So how can I make them all one interface? Well, there's a pretty easy way, and I'm going to show you a little bit of that now. Uh, I'm going to use ASIO for All, which is literally asioforall.com, and that's the whole purpose of this device. Um, and by the way, it does work better than any anything that comes with Windows, so I, I recommend that as well. As for once you're in here, um, in the DAW itself, I'm using Studio One. I've tried this with other DAWs with similar success. I go to Configure Audio Device. You do have to make sure you select ASIO for All. It's your digital audio device inside the computer that you're going to plug these others into, the audio box and then the focus right. So hit the control panel. Now I'm not going to do this because it'll stop my vocal recording here, but hit the control panel and it'll pop up this box right here for you. And what this box is, is basically how you configure your ASIO for All. You click on the little wrench icon to get into this advanced mode. Here's all of your devices. Now you can have many devices. Uh, I've had usually three, I think, at a time hooked up. I don't think I've gone past that. I've never tried. Um, but the point is, make sure these little blue things are turned on. You literally need to turn on the devices. And I turned off my onboard um, audio device that's the little um, port on the motherboard on my tower I don't need it so uh, and then you have these audio buffer sizes well to the left is for you know uh, recording and recording MIDI and using a controller or whatever typically you want things a little bit lower when you're recording and then at the higher level is for playback and it depends on the project you may not have to change it at all so there you go. I wouldn't mess with anything over here because you you really aren't going to get the most out of your um, interfaces if you do. So how do I do this in a DAW? Well, uh, here's an easy way I do it in Studio One. I'm going to start a new song file in Studio One. And one of the easiest ways to get to this is the mix uh, window and then go to uh, the audio in and out setup. Uh, so I'm going to hit that. Now, now that I'm in here, um, I see the ASIO for all device. Well, that's the driver we installed. And then I have inputs and outputs. Well, we got to set these up. It looks like the audio box one set up okay by itself. LR means stereo if I want to use both inputs at the same time for a stereo track. M for mono left, M for mono right. I like to go over here and rename these like, I don't know, audio box USB or something like that and you'll see probably why and then input one um, audio box something like that in other words make it so you know exactly what it is um, when you use it uh, labeling is in in keeping track of things is good now here's my scarlet notice there's nothing there well I have to add stereo add mono add mono this M needs to move over here. This M needs to move over here because they are for the Scarlet. Here, I would say, um, we'll just call it the focus for focus, right? Uh, L plus R for that. That's using both inputs at the same time. And then focus one. Okay, if I can learn to spell. And here we would call it focus two. Okay, now... Ta-da! When you do this, you should probably make it your default if this is what you're going to use all the time. Um, if, if not, don't worry about it. And outputs. If you want to use the outputs on the SCAR, it looks like the audio box when set up. You do have to add stereo for that as well. Okay, so... Um, now that notice would be coming out of your sub one, so you'd have to create you know, a sub one channel in your mixer as well. So be careful with that. 
Um, but you could actually go out, depending on how many ins and outs you had on your interface. Um, some have more, some have less. Read your manual if you don't know. Uh, but get to know your interface and where the ins and outs are. And, and I'm literally setting them up to turn them all on so I can use them. Okay, and then once I've done that, I'm going to actually go and add an audio track here. I'm going to make it bigger. And you will see now in your inputs, you have all those choices that you just labeled. There's input one for the audio box, input two, focus one, a focus two. And let me add a um, stereo track. Oh, I can also just do stereo track this way by clicking on the channel mode, stereo or mono. And now when I click on this, I have all of the inputs to choose from. There's the stereo and then um, if I'm going to record um, both inputs one and two all on one stereo channel and there's the mono and there's the Focusrite stereo. So there you go. That is how you set up and use multiple interfaces in a DAW or digital audio workstation. All right. I hope you learned something. If you like this, hit the like button below. Thank you.